Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and these are the Beats Studio Buds. Many of you have been asking me to unbox these, and so I thought we'd take a look at them. Now they come in at $149.99 and are available in three different colors. This is the black option, but they're also available in white and red. Now I'll go ahead and unbox them, then I'll set them up and then give you my general impression of what they sound like. Now let's go ahead and unbox them and thanks to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and unbox these. And on the outside of the box, you can see it says active noise canceling and transparency mode. On the side, it shows that it works with Apple TV, iPhone and iPad, and also Android. And then it just shows you the charging case. Let's go ahead and open these up. So we've got a little pull tab on the back here and let's open them. And this is the first time I've seen these. So we'll pull out the packaging here and that's everything in the box. Now, as far as the top here, it says great sound starts with proper fit. So these must be little earbud tips and we have some multiple sizes. So we have small and large, the medium size are probably already installed. And then we also have what looks to be USB-C. So we have USB-C to USB-C and also it says five minutes to play back for up to an hour. So you can charge it five minutes or so. Now in here it says, try it for free and let's pull out the paperwork. So it says Apple music, complete your beats with Apple music. So you get a free trial with it. it looks like three months free. And then also it shows you how to pair them. You get a beat sticker and then some safety and handling and also a warranty card as well. Now it also shows how to use them. So we've got some different options. We can play or pause. We can also go to the next track or back. And then we've got different transparency modes. Now let's take a look at the beats themselves. Now in this packaging, this is a little bit different. This is a piece of cardboard. It looks like, and then we have an arrow to pull up on the tab here. So we'll just pull up here. There we go. And here are the beats. So we can open them up, but first we can see on the bottom, it's just USB-C and nothing else. So it's a nice size case. And if we open them up, here are the beats inside. Now for a general size comparison, I wanted to show you next to AirPods. You can see here that the case is a little bit bigger. And as far as the studio buds, here's one bud and we'll go around these in just a moment, but I just wanted to show you a quick size comparison with an AirPod pro. If you're not a fan of the stem, now you won't need those with beat studio buds. And I've seen others say that they're very comfortable. So I'll have to try them out in just a moment, but that gives you an idea. And then also with power beats pro they're much smaller. So as you can see, compared to power beats pro. So I just wanted to show you that now, as you can see around the outside edge, this one goes in my right ear, but you can see you've got two charging contacts and it has the letter R on it. And then it looks like you've got your microphone on the top and then you've got a clickable button. This is actually a tactile clickable button. So that's pretty nice. And let's pull off the air to ear tip here and you can see inside. So that's the studio buds themselves. And this case can provide up to 24 hours of total playback. So depending on if you're using noise canceling or transparency or not, if you're not using them, you can expect about eight hours of playback time with the studio buds. If you're using transparency or noise canceling, you can expect about five hours. So with that, you get up to 15 hours total with the case. So that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and pair these with my iPhone. Now, because I have these open, it immediately starts the pairing process. So you can see it showed up on my iPhone and it's asking me to connect. So I'll go ahead and tap on connect. We'll give it just a moment here for it to connect. And you can see immediately it connects. It gives the battery status level of the headphones and also the case itself. So I will need to charge the case a little bit, but it should hold up just fine and give us another charge or so. Now let's go ahead and hit done. And now that they're paired, I'll go ahead and put one in my left ear so I can show you one of the features. So now that it's in my ear, it should pair to the phone or it should show up here. And you can see under the control center that it's there. If I press and hold on the earbuds or the beat studio buds, you'll see that we have the option for noise control. I can turn it on to noise control, or I can switch it to transparency so I can hear the environment around me. So I have that option to switch here, but I can also switch the same option on the 
earbuds themselves. So if I press and hold the button, this is a tactile clickable button. So if I press and hold this button, it will switch between noise cancellation and then also over to transparency. So that's an option that's with these headphones. And the other thing is these are IPX4 rated for sweat and water resistance. And then also you can use these with Siri if you use the word Hey in front of them. So if you're using them on an iPhone, they have that option. Additionally, they have the option to use find my to locate your earbuds at any time. So you can pair them to the device and then they automatically show up in find my, and then you can go and figure out where they are. If you've lost them. Now I'm going to listen to these for a little while and then I'll give you my overall impressions of them. Now I've been listening to the Beats Studio Buds for a little while. And before I talk about that, I want to talk about Best Buy who sponsored this video. So if you're looking for these Beats Studio Buds or something else, their blue shirts experts are there to help you out. They're as passionate and as knowledgeable as you, and they're there to help you find what's right for you. So if you're looking for the latest and greatest tech, they're there to help. And if you want to get your hands on these from Best Buy, I'll link them in the description below. Now the sound of the Beats Studio Buds is not the same as other beats I've used before. Typically beats tend to be very, very bass heavy. These are not that bass heavy compared to the other ones. Now they do have a tuned sound where they sort of balance the sound out and then tune them by a human to get a certain signature sound. And that sound is still there, but it's just not what it used to be. And I think that's a really good thing. I like the sound of these overall. They're very clear. There's decent separation. And I think they're some of the better Bluetooth headphones I've used before. They've got class one Bluetooth and it seems to do a good job as far as connectivity. Now you don't have lossless because of that, just due to the limitations of bandwidth with Bluetooth, but in general, they sound really good. They have that signature sound with a little bit more bass, which is great for certain types of music, but they also have good separation where you can hear other instruments as well. In a song I was listening to, I could hear things I hadn't heard before with different headphones I was using. So I think that's a good sign and no, they're not going to be perfect because they're in your Bluetooth headphones, but they're quite good when it comes to the noise cancellation and transparency. Transparency seems to work really well. In fact, it's turned on right now and I'm hearing myself in real time while talking to you. So that's pretty great. And when it's in noise cancellation, I have an AC unit in the background that I can't hear when noise cancellation is turned on. So I usually judge noise cancellation based off that because it's quite loud. And when it's turned on, I can't hear it. So the noise cancellation seems to work really well also. So they do sound good and I'm pretty impressed with them as far as Bluetooth headphones go, especially because typically beats I'll listen to maybe rap or hip hop music with them because they have really heavy bass, but then I don't like them for other things such as maybe classical or pop music or rock music, but they sound pretty good in all of those genres. Now also I find them very, very comfortable. I can barely feel that they're in my ear. In fact, the only thing I feel is the ear tip when it's in my ear canal. Other than that, I don't feel them at all. So that's a great thing to me. I typically don't like earphones inside my ear canal, but I don't feel these hardly at all. So that's a great thing. And because there's no other parts, I just don't feel that they're hardly there other than where it touches your ear canal. There's no stem. There's nothing pushing on the inside of your ear. So I find that quite comfortable and they don't seem to fall out at all either. So I don't think just by shaking your head, if they're in place, you're going to have them just fall out, whether you're jogging or doing something else. I think they'll stay put pretty well for most ears. You do have those variable tip sizes. If you need that, I'm just using the medium ones and they stay in place pretty nicely. So they're very comfortable. I think they sound great and I'll be using them quite a bit because I do find them so comfortable. So I think that's a great thing. They definitely surprised me as far as that goes. Now there's a few things I wanted to mention. And the first thing is the Beats Studio Buds case does not charge wirelessly. So you'll need to use the included USB-C charger or a USB-C cable to charge it. Also, if you're using the Beats Studio Buds and maybe you have one in your ear and then you remove it, it does not pause automatically. So whether you're watching a video or listening to music, it doesn't pause automatically when you remove it or put it back into your ear. It doesn't resume automatically. And then also it does not support spatial audio. So spatial audio may be something you care about or not, but it does not support it with head tracking or spatial audio at all. However, calls do use beam forming microphones. And even though these don't have a stem, they sound pretty good. So I wanted to have you hear exactly what they sound like. And I was able to record them using the microphone in the Beats Studio Buds using the voice app on the phone. So go ahead and take a listen to them and let me know what you think of them. <laughs> 
Now I'm recording from the Beats Studio Buds. So this is what they sound like if you're on a phone call. I'm using them as a microphone right into the voice app. So this should give you a general idea of what to expect or what the other person will hear while you're using them. Now Beats Studio Buds have true noise cancellation, which means they're using the microphones instead of just the ear tip to cancel out noise. So they're using the microphone, listening to ambient noise and canceling it out. And I think they do a pretty good job at that. Of course, you have that transparency mode as well if you need to hear what's going on around you. Now, according According to Beats, the Studio Buds are made for music and designed with a custom acoustic platform, and they're also engineered to deliver powerful, balanced sound in a compact in-ear form factor. And I think they match that pretty well. I find them super comfortable, very convenient, and they seem to stay connected pretty well to whatever I'm using them with. So I'll definitely be using them to listen to music and even edit videos like this one. Now, if you'd like to pick them up, of course, you can check them out at our sponsor, Best Buy. And again, thanks to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. And of course, if you need help, they're there to help as well. So be sure to check them out again, linked in the description below. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link that in the description as well. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.